It's pretty rare these days that a piece of commodity hardware really blows me away with its pricing. The last time it happened with a notebook was the Acer Helios 300, and at $1,100, one of its, whoa, big selling points was a 1080p IPS display. Well, this here Fusion 5 laptop also has a full HD IPS display, but for only a hundred and sixty bucks. Whoa! TunnelBear for Teams makes it easy to secure your Wi-Fi on any network and comes with priority support and easy team management. Try it for free at the link below. Unboxing the Fusion 5, my initial impressions, I was actually pretty impressed. The build quality is not amazing or anything, but the IO is adequate with two USB Type-A full-size ports, though full-size SD and HDMI would have been nice, but for 160 bucks. Like, this thing has a full version of Windows 10 for $160, damn. Anyway, yeah, so for the price, the plastics feel okay, the screen is rigid enough, and the bottom half of the clamshell is pretty okay too. Even if it rattles enough that you could offer it to a bandmate who forgot her snare drum that day. And that's before we get to the real star of the show here, the screen. Ours eh, did come with a dead pixel, but aside from that, I'd consider it stunning for the money. Compared to our $200 Dell laptop, the screen on the Fusion 5 is in a whole other league. The blacks are blacker, the whites are whiter, the colors are colorer, and the viewing angles are anglier. However, we may have a small problem here. Can the Fusion 5 even play back 1080p content? Rocking an Intel Atom quad core, two gigs of RAM, and 32 gigs of eMMC storage, this laptop plows through tasks like a plow, but not that plow, this plow. I mean, to be clear, it can do stuff and even delivers smooth playback with high bitrate HD web content like that found on Floatplane Club. Hashtag plug. And the screen folds out 180 degrees for easy viewing. So if you're looking for a cheap little machine to watch YouTube and Netflix on, it's actually pretty compelling. If you're looking to do much of anything else, you probably wanna stay the hell away. First of all, you will need headphones for watching videos, since the speakers are worse than a mid-grade smartphone. And video calls? No. With this webcam, you won't have a good side. But really, Linus, a bad webcam? That's your deal breaker? Oh no. The real deal breakers come when you start trying to use it for any kind of productivity. For starters, typing on the Fusion 5 laptop is a slog. The keys are spaced so close together, the tactile feel is best described as damp, and adding insult to injury, keystrokes don't always register, making typing even this simple paragraph a chur. Do you see? Do you see what I'm talking about? And these problems also mean that you'll be regularly reaching for the backspace key, conveniently located right underneath the power button. I mean, don't worry, you can turn off tap to sleep, but like, then why even have a power button? Now, Alex normally writes an entire laptop review on that laptop to get a really good feel for what it's like to work on it. But this is the first time that the device's rubbish keyboard and wicked case of narcolepsy forced him to give up. And having used it myself for a little while, I admire that he even got this far. Now you could say, yeah, but Linus, that little handheld thing you checked out recently had a bad keyboard too, and, but yeah, it had super pocketable portability on its side. And it still gets worse. I mean, moving down from the keyboard, there's this really small trackpad, which is only part of the problem, because the fact that it's finished in the same way as the wrist rest means that there's very little noticeable feel when you move outside of its bounds, something that's frustrating. It's noticeably laggy, but then that's hardly even the worst issue when it regularly registers a single click as two 
or even three. And clicking and dragging to highlight words or resize windows is an exercise in futility. Uh, oh, I close it. And unfortunately, or fortunately, if you like ranty reviews of terrible products, the problems don't stop there. While we were charging the device, the battery got hotter than the creamy melted center of a delicious hot pocket that... You know what? I'm kind of hungry. I'll be right back. Sorry. That's better. Oh, that was hot. But here's a positive point. The left side of the keyboard gets so toasted during use that you can actually use it to keep this warm in between bites. More bad stuff though. The battery life is okay, but the power supply that's included is so weak that when using the laptop while plugged in, it actually slowly loses charge if you're doing anything too intensive. And it takes over five hours of it being plugged in and powered off to fully charge. So in a nutshell, I'm encouraged by the Fusion 5. I mean, sure, it's a bad experience and you shouldn't buy it. But I like the prospect of in the coming years, us starting to see some really impressive screens trickling down into budget options like it. Oh, hey, no way, we're doing a spot for the Corsair One. It's the fast, quiet, and compact gaming PC from Corsair. It's built with premium bead blasted aluminum and highlighted by subtle ambient lighting effects. It's powered by an Intel Core i7-7700 processor and runs GeForce GTX graphics from MSI. The base model is air-cooled, while the rest are actually liquid-cooled, and it uses standard size components to enable the user to upgrade it in the future. It's quiet, producing just 20 decibels at idle, and you can learn more and buy one for yourself at the link in the video description. So thanks for watching, guys. If you disliked this video, you can hit that button. I haven't had any of these in years. But if you liked it, you can hit that like button, get subscribed, maybe check out where to buy the stuff we featured at the link in the video description. Also linked in the description is our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one, and our community forum, which you should totally join. Why are they hot, though, when you uh, take them right out of the microwave? For starters, typing on the Fusion 5 laptop is a slog. Shut up.